Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can score on every single drive in Madden Mobile 21. Um, whether it's a league drive or an arena drive or anything like that. So we're going to go really quick, hop into an arena game. As you can see, I don't grind arena at all. I just use it for like, the achievements and stuff. I only grind the tournaments. And before we do get into the video... Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. There's a stat on YouTube that says 95% of you guys who are watching are not subscribed. So if you did subscribe, um, you wouldn't miss out on any more of my content. Okay, we're facing this Rams guy. I don't know what overall he's going to be. Only an 83. We should be able to win this. But I'm going to be playing, not like he's a low overall, but I'm going to be playing like he's a 90 overall or a... 95 overall so right off the bat you're gonna do either hb base or strong toss i like to do hb base and you're gonna run to this side of the field doesn't matter how many yards you get because then you come to the big place play action passes there's pa power o or pa spot those both were great i personally prefer pa power o so you're gonna flip it once you get to this side of the field and usually this guy gets wide open. Not that guy. That was a terrible throw. Oh, we'll try this again. But usually, Jerry Rice here will get wide open. And usually that can be a touchdown right off the bat. Then you're just going to keep running it to that side. And we actually get a big gain here. So then just keep running that play. Flip it. Run that play. Usually... He'll get wide open, and sometimes he won't run. Usually he won't run out of bounds. I don't know why he's doing that right now. But yeah, so then just keep running it to that side. It doesn't matter if you get negative yards because you're guaranteed to pretty much get po you're pretty much guaranteed to get positive yards. And when you run out of PA power row, go ahead do PA spot. This gets your flex player wide open. Sometimes it does. He does run out of bounds though. So this that's why this play is kind of risky and you shouldn't do this play on fourth down. If it is fourth down, if it's a short, use a run play. If it's a long, just use whatever play looks right. I usually use a play action pass. Then when you get close to the end zone, like first and goal, just run it with HB plunge or whatever that play is called. That's the most efficient play. Then I usually do um this trap run and this is this is only for vertical vertical playbook users these are the vertical plays but i found out that these plays are super good you'll score every every single drive two point conversions aren't that guaranteed but touchdowns are pretty much guaranteed if you use this method um yeah it's a really good method so i would recommend switching to vertical if you haven't already, we'll just run this play one more time. See, he didn't run out of bounds that time. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time.